Ghana has stressed that food security under the Ministry of Agriculture through a number of projects aimed at enhancing and sustaining the quality of life of many people in Omaheke. Ghana has singled out the Ministry's small stock development program which has donated goats to communities at Oshombinde, Epukiro, Oshinene and Aminus respectively. Goats and sheep breeders, these breeders are all previously disadvantaged people and they are coming as far as ASAP, Oshinene and Aminus and actually across the whole region. And that was, that have been the dream of the office of the governor that one day these people will also rise to the occasion and showcase quality breeds. Their efforts in genetic value creation is praiseworthy and worth supporting and emulating. The recurring droughts in Namibia and the scarcity of agricultural farmland coerce farmers to add significant quality to quantities, to quali quantities of livestock. Top quality indeniably attracts top prices. In as much as it may be a difficult thing at first, I urge our producers to start looking into embracing quality over quantity in our farming operations. In as much as we celebrate these achievements, we are reminded of the absence of a functioning abattoir in our region. And as long as we do not have a functioning abattoir in our region, all our livestock will go on hoof to outside countries. And just like with the ostrich industry in our country, these people will later say, we don't need any more cattle from Omaheke. So we should gut against that. We should put value addition. And therefore, the vet flea abattoir must be opened. We must explore this possibility. And also, should we utilize, use the opportunity to talk to Midco so that the fit lot of Midco can come to full capacity and an abattoir, if possible, be established there. Fellow residents of Omaheke region, the cattle country remains on course in its contribution to the national good quality beef that is currently attracting in the national market. We heard that the Chinese are interested in this, the Americans are interested in this, and we are happy to, to note that we are also contributing to this. On the education, the governor says two additional senior secondary certificate ordinary school has been upgraded and the region stands at five schools now. Ganate added that Khopapes municipality also ended contract with the Red Force Debt Collector and Tohangana Solid Waste. Under social housing, Oshinene Village Council constructed 13 houses under the Build Together program and availed 72 residential plots to the Sheikh Dwellers Federation and 22 houses are already completed and inhabited. As such, the debt collection and services are being done internally by the council to save cost. Council have employed 40 annual workers and five meter readers. In addition, council resolved to, to write off the interest of long outstanding debt for pensioners and other public members. What a relief. <laughs> Under the social housing programs which are intended to address the housing shortage in the village, the Oshinene Village Council has constructed 13 houses under the decentralized build together program at a total cost of 400,000. And the official opening of these houses will be done in due course. Council of Oshinene also availed 72 residential, residential airmen and one sound airmen to the Sheikh Dwellers Federation of Namibia and 22 houses are already completed and the owners have moved in. The Omaheke Regional Directorate, as a stakeholder, conducted anti-nuptial care weekly at the Lady Pohamba Maternity Waiting Home, including health promotion. The Directorate continues to play the role of facilitating the donation of food at maternal shelter, and thus 44 expecting women receive the dignity kits for pregnant and lactating mother at this shelter, and that was donated by UNFPA. Moving into infrastructure development with emphasis on governance infrastructure.
the construction of the C. Fosea Kutako Memorial Museum. And I want you to sit upright and listen to this beautiful story, Bessie unfolding. It's underway, and to date, progress on this site is at the percentage of 80%. As all works are expected to be completed by the end of August, the houses on this site have been completed with only the internal joinery installation outstanding to them. The main building structures, shelves are complete. Besides the museum, there will be a museum on site there in Aminu's constituency, a ritual house which has still to be roofed. They only need the roof up. Of the total project amount of 29.4 million, 65% <coughs> of which is 17.2 million, have been expended to date and 12.2 million will remain to be spent for this project. Regarding infrastructure development in the region, Ganate says the construction of the Jose Akutako Memorial Museum and Homestead Shrine are some of the infrastructure development currently underway and is expected to be completed by the end of August. Garia Kavari, NBC News, Khababes.